Hello everyone, we are going to be discussing spans and consistency in this session. So let's start. So we've been discussing matrix and vertices in the past few lecture series. So let us assume that we have a matrix A which has the columns V1, V2 until Vn. So this is my matrix with V1, V2 until Vn vectors. Then Ax equals B is a solution. So this is going to have a solution only when the following conditions hold true. The first one being, let's say you have x1, x2, xn such that when you represent them in this form, that is when you are representing all the x, x values as a column. So a of x of all the columns should be equal to b. Then the second condition is that there exists x1, x2 until xn such that when you add all of them, it should equal b. That is x1, v1 plus x2, v2 until xn, vn should be equal to b. That means if this condition is true, that means that b is the linear combination of vectors v1, v2 and vn, which we've already discussed in the past, past sessions, right? And since it's a linear combination, so B is also in the span, in the span of the columns of A. Correct? So we've seen how we define span. That is when we have linear combination of, of uh, what do you say, vectors together, which gives us a resultant vector. Then we say that the vectors are in span. And we've discussed this in the previous session. I'll link the URL in the description box from the previous session. So then this is extending our understanding of spans from the previous session. So I hope this made sense that Ax equals B has a solution when these conditions satisfy. The first one being what? A and X extended over the column vectors equals B. That is my first condition. The second one being X1, X2 until Xn. So such that when you add all of them together, this equals B. And then B is the linear combination of V1, V2 until Vn, all those vectors, all right? So this is the first set of notions we have to keep in mind. The next one is the matrix equation Ax equals B has a solution if and only if B is in span of columns of A. We've already seen why. Because B can then be represented in the form of linear combinations of all the vector spaces in that linear space so x1 v1 plus x2 v2 and so on so forth that is why b is in the span of columns of a let's take an example so i have um, a matrix here a equals 2 minus 1 1 1 0 minus 1 so we have to see does this equation equals 0 to 2 so that means that if i represent this like this 2 minus 1 1 1 0 minus 1 and then we have an x, this, this equals 0, 2, 2, which means that for some value of x represented in the form of matrix, when multiplied with this matrix, does it give this resultant 0, 2, 2 is the question. Okay, so let us break this down into the vector representation. So v1 becomes the first column, which is 2, minus 1, 1. And V2 becomes the second column of a matrix, which was 1, 0, minus 1. And the final output, that is the target variable across, the target vector, sorry, the target vector across which we need to validate is 0, 2, 2. So this is how I can represent them in the form of augmented matrix. We've also discussed augmented matrix in the previous sessions. And I will link the URL for augmented matrix in the description box again. So then this is the representation. Now, If I have to bring this matrix in row reduced equal form, we've also discussed row reduced equal forms in the previous session. And I'll link the URL for the explanation for row reduced equal form as well in the description box. Having said that, if you guys want me to explain how I have brought this matrix to this row reduced equal form, you can let me know in the comment section. Okay, so the row reduced equal form for this matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1. So we just take the last row and here it says 0, 
equals 1 which is not a valid condition and hence it is inconsistent and since it's inconsistent that means we do not have any value of x which satisfies the condition given so it is an inconsistent problem statement let us take another example so now the columns of a is 2 minus 1 1 1 0 minus 1 and the resultant output across which we are testing the condition that or else I can say differently that the value of x that we are trying to find for which the multiplication of the matrix with x matrix should be equal to 1 minus 1 and 2. I represented them in the form of augmented matrix again which is 2 minus 1 1 here 1 0 minus 1 here and 1 minus 1 2 here. Row reduce equal in form for this is here. Again, if anybody needs help as to how this, you know, this was simplified to this structure, feel free to let me know in the comment section. So row reduced equaling forms becomes this. And since we have zero equals zero in this, so this condition, so it does have a solution. So this is a consistent problem statement because here we don't have any non-zero value which is equating to zero. Zero equals zero, this condition is true and hence this is a consistent solution. Okay. So that's pretty much it, short and sweet. Um, if you have any questions connected to this session, feel free to drop in on the website or feel free to drop in the comments and thank you so much for joining in.